Twelve years on from the waterfall train disaster, the state government admits it's failed to fix a major flaw in the network. Seven people died when a train derailed at high speed in 2003. An inquiry found communications needed to improve, and that still hasn't happened. Here's state political reporter Bridget Glanville. It shocked a community and shattered lives forever. The train dropped, and next thing we're, we're skidding along, you know, like, so I believed I was going to die. A year-long inquiry into the train crash made 117 recommendations. Two of them haven't been implemented, including a significant communications plan. It's absolutely crucial because when there is an incident on the rail network, everyone involved needs to be able to communicate to ensure that emergency services, workers on the line and those on the train are getting accurate information about what is happening. The inquiry found it's essential that all train drivers, controllers, guards and trackside work use the same system. This area was a black spot for mobile coverage. It was a real problem on the day of the disaster for emergency service workers. The recommendation to put in a digital train radio system to ensure drivers could communicate with the rest of the network was made back in 2005. Ten years later, and it still hasn't been put in place. It's a, it's a very tough, complex project. We're talking about the delivery of a radio system across 1,455 kilometres of electrified track in 2009, while in opposition, the Shadow Transport Minister wrote to the Labor government asking why such a critical recommendation has been pushed back without any explanation to the community. But five years after coming to power, the coalition government also hasn't done anything. There should have been a better performance here and uh, ultimately uh, we, we must get this delivered quickly in light of that very serious recommendation uh, handed down. The government says the communication system should be in place by March next year, 11 years after the recommendation was first made. Bridget Gladville, ABC News, Waterfall.